Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a science fiction adventure film and the sequel to Jurassic World from 2015. It is the fifth installment of the Jurassic Park film series, as well as the second installment in the current Jurassic World trilogy. The setup for this film is that the island Isla Nublar, where Jurassic Park and Jurassic World takes place, is being destroyed by an erupting volcano, and the characters in this movie are setting up a rescue mission to get the stranded dinosaurs off to safety. The special effects and the dinosaur designs are great, and you really get the impression that they're just like any other animals walking the earth. There are scenes that are visually gorgeous, especially during the first third of the movie that takes place on the island itself, and a couple of exciting moments do occur during this part of the movie. Unfortunately, after not too long though, the movie decides to slam hard on its brakes and becomes less interesting for the rest of the runtime. I have quite a few issues with Fallen Kingdom. Right from the get-go we have Dr. Ian Malcolm, and this is the only five minute scene that Jeff Goldblum has in the entire movie, giving us the familiar speech about how man should not have toyed with power and created these creatures, how nature had previously wiped out the dinosaurs for a reason, and the volcanic eruption is nature repeating and correcting itself. And as the viewer, I completely agree with his opinion. They are too dangerous and should unfortunately be left to their fate. So to then watch the plotline completely contradict the viewpoint expressed in the opening scenes felt very frustrating. I found the entire cast of characters to be unmemorable. Chris Pratt is likeable in his role as usual. However, there is zero development to this character throughout the entire movie. And Fallen Kingdom doesn't provide a logical enough reason for why he and Bryce Dallas Howard's characters need to be the ones leading the rescue. The supporting characters all felt pointless and were often irritating. And all of the villains were extremely cartoony. There are also a number of stupid subplots and twists that serve absolutely no purpose to the story. Not to mention the plot points that make no sense and mess with the continuity of the series. Why do they need to find a new safe place for the dinosaurs to begin with? Jurassic Park The Lost World showed that there was an Isla Sauna, a site B where these animals are roaming free in their own ecosystem, yet there is no mention of this anywhere in Fallen Kingdom. I also didn't like how the movie pretty much reenacts iconic moments from previous films. The movie does pick up a bit in the last act, where it starts to play out like your stereotypical monster flick. It's a shame though that the rest of the movie is a bit boring and predictable. I give Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a 2 out of 5. Yeah, it really feels like that this is just a throwaway entry in the series for me, just to set up the events for Jurassic World 3. I also give it a 2 out of 5. Thank you for watching the video, please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!